Hey, 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 Triple T. Welcome back. God's letter to humankind. Here we go. Hi, guys. Welcome again to my video. The purpose of God's letter, the obstacle and the ultimate plan. God begins this letter by giving humankind a brief account of creation, but quickly shifts back the focus on the main issue, which is humankind's, the created, relationship with the one true almighty God. However, this is an obstacle in establishing this relationship. The obstacle is Satan, who is trying to prevent that relationship from happening. But God, from the beginning, had a plan to defeat his obstacle and render him ineffective. God's plan is to choose a certain group of people in a certain part of the world in which he will use an as, in, as an instrument to bring all his people from every part of the world to himself in spirit and in truth. It was through these instrumental people that God would come as a human being, his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, and walk among his creation as both God and man. One Savior and one way. In his letter to humankind, the Bible, God makes it clear that there is only one Savior and one way to restore humankind's relationship with him. And that is through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. In his letter to humankind, the Bible, God declares he is love and he is just and therefore sin cannot go unpunished or he would be unjust because his wages of sin is death. So there has to be a payment and the only payment accepted is the shed blood of Jesus Christ through his finished resurrected work on the cross. Satan's purpose. In his letter to humankind, the Bible, God makes it clear that Satan has a plan. He has come to steal, kill and destroy. By blinding people into not abiding in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Satan steals their soul, kills their relationship with God, and destroys God's plan for their salvation. Anything Satan can do to blind one into another, one into not abiding in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, in his full deity, Satan will do. One of Satan's best tools is actually religion. Satan has blinded many sincere followers of various world religions into robbing the deity or lordship of Jesus Christ to just being a mere prophet or only a god or an archangel or merely a wise man and good teacher. However, God makes it clear that this is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit who comes to testify to Jesus as Christ, Lord and Savior. The sheep and the goats. In his letter to humankind, the Bible, God also makes it very clear that despite humankind's efforts to classify themselves in various categories, such as financial status, political beliefs, race, color, worldly talents, nationality, age, popularity, religious beliefs, etc., etc., there in fact are only two categories in the sight of God. One, those who have been taken up their cross trusted in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in sincere repentance by returning from their sins and to God, enabling them to become been born again of the Holy Spirit of truth who guides them on earth and testifies to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Category two, those who follow the gods of this world, Satan, who refuse to repent and turn from their sins and will have to account for their own sins, including the unforgivable sin of blaspheming the Holy Spirit in rejecting the author of life, which is Jesus Christ, and therefore will be cast into the eternal lake of fire. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like, share, and comment. And keep on spreading the word of God. Be blessed.